Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be bleaching the knots of a frontal. Now, there's so many videos on YouTube on how to do this, but sometimes I'm like, <laughs> you guys are doing it the wrong way, especially with the type of products you guys are using to bleach knots. So I'm here to like explain how you should do it properly, especially like if you're doing this by yourself. It's very, very easy to do and very easy to follow. So these are the things you're going to need. First of all, you need a frontal. This frontal is from Elizabeth.com. It's a Peruvian, um, yeah, Peruvian body wave in 16 inches. You're going to need some gloves because yeah, very important. Then you're gonna need a plastic knife. Now this is the magic of the whole situation. And then after that, you're gonna need bleach. Um, this one is from, well, where is it from? It's actually a local beauty supply store bleach, but yeah, just use whatever bleach you have, but do as much as possible. Try to get one that is um, dust free. Then um, you're gonna need 20% volume developer please never go higher than that so never use 40 30 percent just 20 percent or less would be fine um you don't want to have your um frontal shedding prematurely so yeah 20 percent remember that and then you're gonna need purple shampoo to wash everything off oh yeah um, you can use whatever brand you uh, got. Um, this is also a beauty supply store product. Um, I'm just using beauty supply store products because, um, yeah, this is for the baddies on a budget, okay? So, uh, yeah, other than that, you're going to need something to mix your uh, stuff in. You need a brush. As you can see, like, this one looks a bit funky because I've been working all day. And, yeah, so that's pretty much the only thing you're going to need. So, let's get into this video, guys. My 20% volume developer, I'm just gonna put that in there like this. So I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna mix this right here. Okay. It's not thick enough, so. Okay, so now, now the fact that I can leave my brush in here like this and it's not going anywhere just means that we're ready to start bleaching the frontal. So let's get to bleaching the frontal. My knife, the plastic one, and I'm gonna take a little bit of the bleach, right? And I'm gonna apply it to my frontal. So I like to start from the edges first because I find that you know the edges um, should be bleached properly, so it blends into your skin a lot better. So yeah, and you guys need to watch this, okay? Like you guys really need to watch this. How do I explain this? So when you're applying the bleach to the frontal, you want to make sure that you don't press too hard on it. So you don't want your bleach to like leak through the lace because that's not the point. We're just trying to like get the knots, so those black dots to look a little more natural. Like it's going out of your motherfucking skull. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But anyways, yeah. So.
applying the bleach to the frontal and this is what you should be having once oh yeah I'm trying to get in the viewfinder yeah so this is what you should have once you're done applying the bleach to the frontal turn it around as you can see because I sweeped oh sorry I sweet I swept <laughs> <laughs> because I swept the bleach across the lace frontal, it doesn't you can't you can't see it going through the lace on the other side. So that's very very important because we're not trying to get the hair itself to be bleached, just the knots. So in 30 minutes time we'd have a perfectly bleached Okay, yeah, so when it comes down to washing the frontal, you want to make sure that your frontal is laid this way. So you don't want to wash it like this, but you want to wash it like this, right? So I'm going to open the water. I'm using lukewarm water to wash the whole thing off. And then once I get all the products out, then I'll proceed to like, you know, neutralizing the bleach with the purple shampoo. So. That's just what I wanted to show you guys. So this is what your frontal should look like once you're done. It's very easy to follow. Um, yeah, let me know what you think about this tutorial. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Alright, bye.